Having trouble meeting your fiancé in person before applying for a K-1 visa? Are you lost and don't know what to do? Millions of people every year dream of immigrating to America. For some, a K-1 fiancé visa will bring their dreams to fruition. USCIS has stated that they can decide not to require a face-to-face -face meeting between the parties if there is a good reason. We recommend that if this process becomes too daunting, you should reach out to an immigration attorney. In today's video, we will talk about what is a K-1 fiancé visa hardship waiver. Before we get started, don't forget to like and subscribe to our channel for more amazing content. Let's start. What is an extreme hardship waiver? U.S. Citizenship and Immigration Services states that the discretion to waive the requirement of an in-person meeting between the two parties if compliance would either result in extreme hardship to the petitioner or violate strict and long-established customs of the beneficiary's foreign culture or social practice. For example, in some countries around the world, the groom and bride are not allowed to meet before their wedding date. Another example would be if the U.S. petitioner is too ill or has some type of handicap that prevents him or her from traveling. We feel that it is worth mentioning again that a hardship waiver is up to the discretion of the USCIS. It is your responsibility to provide valid documentation to certify your claim. How to prove your claim for a K-1 hardship waiver? For this, we like to review a claim that was made through the USCIS appeal process in 2020. We have provided a link to this four-page document below. The link is titled, USCIS Appeal of a California Service Center Decision for Hardship Waiver. In Part 2 of the fiancé visa application asking if the petitioner had met his fiancé in the required past two-year period, the petitioner checked the box no. His reason was that he was legally blind and could not travel to her country due to fear of being arrested for not serving in Iran's military. From our understanding of this, the petitioner first immigrated to America then decided to petition his fiancé. His waiver was denied. Let's dig into his appeal. On page 2 of this report dealing with the appeal process, this is what was stated. On appeal, he stated four reasons why he believed he met the qualification for a hardship waiver. Firstly, he was in an arranged marriage in which culturally the bride and groom cannot be in close proximity nor have any physical contact until married. Second, his legal blindness will make it difficult for him to travel. Third, he would be arrested for not serving in Iran's military. The last reason, international travel has been restricted due to the outbreak in 2020. He, the petitioner, provided a Texasite exam report along with a picture of his father with his fiancée. However, he did not provide any documentation that marriage customs would be violated nor did he meet the burden of proof pertaining to military service. Therefore, USCIS denied his claim for lack of supporting evidence. Please, take the time to read the report for yourself that we have provided in the link below. As you can see, extreme hardship for the U.S. citizen petitioner is usually very hard to prove. Just stating it would be an extreme hardship would not be enough to get a waiver. You must provide documentation supporting your claims. Remember there are immigration attorneys that will review your case then provide you with legal advice. What is the processing time for a K-1 fiancé visa hardship waiver? If you have decided to apply for an extreme hardship waiver, it might take more time to process than an average K-1 visa. Your timeline could be between 6 to 12 extra months. So, there you have it. As we come to an end to today's video, make sure to drop a comment below, like, subscribe, and stay positive. Bye for now.